what's going on YouTube we're gonna be replacing these door panels that piece right there with a different color fabric I went to Ben Franklin got some purple um, purple fabric it's about same color as this stuff it's gonna match my doors already removed I can show you guys in a second how I got that done um, but on that SE model, you can only do it on the fronts because the backs, they don't have the fabric like the STs and I'm pretty sure the RSs do. So if you're an SE, you can only do the fronts, maybe the backs if you can find a way to do it. Um, but you wouldn't be wrapping it around fabric like you would on here. It'd be around the plastic and I'm not sure how you do that, but... If you can get it done that would, that'd look nice i'll show you guys how to remove the door panel um it'll be a little bit different on the st but for the se it's they're pretty much the same it's just the speaker removal that's going to be a little bit more difficult i'm pretty sure on the se model so i'll get to that it'll be the same thing on both sides you want to get something underneath, whether something to pry it or a flathead, and just pop your way out. There's three or four clips. Once you get that out, just toss that to the side. And then you have to open this up. So push, push on the side that's closer to the inside. And then get a flathead and pull like that and you can pop it out. I got this clip out and you have two more that you have to do. There's this side one, same thing, kind of, I'd say get something behind right here and kind of pull it out this way and pop it out. You have this one down here, which you'll do kind of same thing but this one you can probably dig it and pop that out if you just push straight into that and pull up you can pop this out and there's one t25 i don't know where that's loose um second t25 third one and then you'll have to pull pull on this kind of go like this pull it out right here on this one you only have one plug the other uh, driver side you'll have three plugs for different windows once you get that off it's just two more right here so one two three four five and once you get that off Next is your speaker, and then you'll be able to pry off the door. I got all the screws out, so take it like this, pop the cover off, kind of get behind it like this, pop it out, and then disconnect right here. And I had this thing popped out, which holds that in place right there. now that that's removed you can start prying on the door it popped out right away and now we have this gray clip pop that out and then this black clip oh yeah so you pull on this tab and pull it out this way and now your door panel is off both door panels off this is the color I picked out because I'm going to go with a purple and green color scheme. And I'm going to wrap the car probably midnight purple. And that would definitely go along with it. And I got... It was like 10 bucks. I just tested on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. About 7 of these so far. And finally figured out the best way to get them off um, so what you're gonna do 
not sure what size this is, but you're just gonna go into the middle of it, drill down just a little bit. Let's see if that's enough. Yep, just get a little bit of it out. See the difference? This one you can see all the way through. That one's blocked off. And once you get that, you're going to take a screwdriver like this. Start hitting the back of it with a hammer. Let's see if I can set my phone up. Kind of like that. Because you're not going to need this top part. So it's squished a little bit like this, and then you're going to go around on the outsides and hammer, and you should be able to twist it off. And that one I messed up, but some other ones, that one, that one's good. Um, that one is really good. And this one, that one's pretty good too. They're not going to come out completely perfect, but it'll get the job done. It'll hold on, so... You're just gonna go around each of them and get it off until you can pull this up. And then once you get those out on this door panel, um, I'll get back to the video. I got the panel off and I ironed the fabric to get it, um, all the creases out of it, cut it to the right size. The person that cut it for me though in the first place at the store, they cut it a little bit too short so not gonna tuck too much of it so what I'm gonna do I have grill adhesive spray I'm gonna spray the inside of it in the center a little bit around here a decent layer and then a little bit on the maybe the back of the fabric push it down make sure it's completely flat and hopefully I get it centered but if you have more fabric than me um, like this way it'll be a lot easier for you guys but for me I have to get it perfect or else I'll have some of this showing. So I'm gonna spray that down and show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. I've got most of it into place now. It's drying on here, but I'm just lifting, I'm lifting around the sides. I accidentally sprayed here on accident, but this will be covered. So once it's dried, it'll be good. So I come, I'm coming into a problem right here. Too much fabric. So if I just cut around half an inch, I'd say, around here, I'll be able to tuck it a lot nicer. I got it all done now. I do need to clean a little bit of this off, but my first time doing it, not the best job, but it'll get better. It's in now, all lined up. So, I first tucked it under here, pushed it down, pulled this up, and put it in through there and around. I got six by half um, wood screws, which I'll be using because they're short. I did longer ones, almost poked through the panel, and these washers. It's dark out now, but I put it on the same way um, I got it off, just with the clips and just push it on, put the screws all back on. And now when I was putting this on, I realized right here, I'm trying to push it, but that's in the way. So I'm going to take a drill and drill a little slot into there for here and there to push into, and hopefully that'll work. Got it all back on. Looks amazing. Shout out to Nick Jonap. I'll put it right here. But still works very well.